What's going on everybody, it's JT here and today I want to discuss DeFly. DeFly is all the rage in the Algorand ecosystem currently. Since launching, the token has gone through the roof. So I wanted to do a deep dive into what DeFly is and showcase the app for you. The app is currently in beta testing mode and I will showcase that for you later on in the video. And then I'll wrap things up with my thoughts on the project. So stick around until the end so you can get the full picture on what DeFly is and what it means to the ecosystem. So what is DeFly? DeFly is Algorand's first DeFi wallet app, redefining decentralized trading. Charts, swaps, stats in one mobile app with full Algorand composability. DeFly combined the best features of traditional crypto trading and real-time portfolio monitoring with the independence and security of DeFi. Now the DeFi app is compatible with iOS and Android and connects to the Algorand ecosystem. It links to any existing wallet and displays analytics and stats based on the publicly available data on the blockchain. For the full feature set, trading and sending funds, the app can safely store your private keys. These keys are stored locally and fully encrypted. The rollout of the app has already started and is scheduled in three phases. One, the closed beta, which is already passed. Two, the open beta starting in February, that started three days ago. And three, production release in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store in April. Now the tokenomics are as follows. The DeFly token was created on December 17th, 2021 with a fixed total supply of 1 billion tokens. DeFly tokens are used in the fee model on DeFly app, and the tokenomics are as follows. 30% were sold in pre-sale, and those pre-sale tokens unlock from April to August of this year. So 30% was used for pre-sale, 30% used for liquidity, and they used the Algorand that they got from the pre-sale to add to the liquidity, 15% for development, 5% for PR and 20% for expansion. The roadmap is as follows. DeFly runs an aggressive schedule to be the first in decentralized trading. This means we will have the app out in early 2022 and will focus on expanding to multiple protocols including cross-chain bridges in the second half of 2022. In the last quarter of 2021, DeFly was accepted under the Algorand Foundation grant program the DeFly token was created, and the app core functionality was completed. Now the first quarter of this year, which is currently ongoing, the token presale happened on January 4th, the DeFly Algo trading pool on Tinyman was launched on January 19th, the closed beta phase launch happened towards the end of January, the public beta phase in app stores is ongoing as of three days ago and the security audit is planned to be finished by the end of March. Now in Q2, the production app releases. April of 2022 is when the app is set to release. Also in Q2 is support for multiple swap protocols, as well as they will implement advanced portfolio stats and support price alerts via push notifications. In Q3 2022, they plan to support DEX style limit orders or stop orders and also support cross chain bridges. The Algorand Foundation tweeted out today that we are delighted to announce today our partnership with Blockshake.io's DeFly app. DeFly is the Algorand DeFi wallet app, a mobile crypto trading app maximizing the user experience of decentralized exchanges. Now that we have the rundown on what DeFly is, how about we dive right into the app and test it out? So this is the DeFly app. When you first get the app, one of the first things you need to do is import your wallet. To import your wallet, you need the 25 word seed phrase in order to connect your wallet. I particularly advise, and so does DeFly, advises to create a new wallet specifically for trading. I wouldn't personally import the seed phrase to your most important wallet. Create a new wallet just for trading and import that wallet to the app. Once you import your wallet to the app, you wanna make sure your wallet has funds on them. I've already gone ahead and done that. I have a little bit of Yieldly and Algo to play around with. So let's take a look. As you can see in the very top, 
you have your starred options, which I haven't starred anything, but you have your pairs right here, and let's just make a couple stars. I'm going to star the D-Fly Algo pair, the Yieldly Algo pair. What else do I want to star? I want to star the Opal Algo pair. Let's see, the Hodl Algo pair, and the Gems. Now if you go back to starred, you'll be able to see everything that you just starred right there. And if you go back to pairs, you can find any pair you could imagine. You could also use this little magnifying glass in the top right corner to search for any pair you can think of. You can also toggle over to the new page, and you can see all of the tokens that are newly launched. I would be very careful with a lot of these tokens because it's super, super easy to launch a token. In fact, you could do one, you could launch a token in a matter of minutes. You can, you can toggle over to the hot section and see what is hot. You can also toggle over to the wrapped section and see all the wrapped coins, you know, go ETH and go BTC, wrapped algo and so forth. And now another thing that I found really interesting is if you click right here in the top left where it says 1D, you can change the time interval from one day to one hour to 12 hours to one week, one month, one year, etc. So I'm going to change it to one week. Now this is currently uh, sorted by liquidity. And as you can see here in the second toggle, it's LP. But you can sort however you want. If you want your pairs to be sorted by volume, you want to see which pairs have the, have the most volume, you can do so. If you'd like to choose to order them based on how many swaps they have, or the percentage gain, or the price, market cap, or age, you're able to select accordingly to organize your app the way you see fit. So I'm going to switch on percentage. So if you toggle to percentage gain, you can see I now have it set up to organize this app to show me the highest percentage gain pairs over the last week. And you can also click over here in the top right where it says Tiny Man 1.1. And this is where you'll be able to choose other DEXs as they come online. Because this app is an order routing app that allows you to route your orders to any decentralized exchange on Algorand. As of right now, there is only one, which is Tiny Man. But as more come online, you will have more options to choose from. Now let's make a swap. To make a swap, in the bottom, you're going to click on Swap. I would like to swap Algo for more Yieldly. So Algo is already set up in the top. And I'm going to click on where it says You Receive. I'm going to click this down toggle right here and find Yieldly. And now it's set up. You pay, I'm going to do 75%. So I'm going to do 1.48 algo for 142 just about yieldly. And you can see all the recent swaps that just happened. Super simple and you just click swap. And it'll go into full detail as you can see the swap details, the protocol is tiny man, the price is 1 algo equals 95.51 yieldly, the slippage max is set to 2%. Uh, I'm buying 1.49 algos worth, I'm receiving this much, blah blah blah, the fees, and the price impact. Once you look at the details and agree with the details, you just swipe to confirm. Now you just wait a handful of seconds as it signs the contract, it swaps it for you, and routes it to your wallet. Awesome, the swap was successful, and as you can see, you can also click this link down at the bottom to view it on the Block Explorer. You can see my transaction right there. Now let's go back, and let's look at the Opal Algo pair. And as you can see, once you click on the token, you can get all sorts of data, from the charts, to its liquidity, to the amount of swaps, the ASA ID, the fully diluted market cap, and so forth. You can also see a little graph of the distribution of the token. And I think that's really, really interesting. Another important thing to note, especially if you're planning to swap tokens that are not verified, is with this little magnifying glass, you can search for the asset you want by typing in the asset ID. And that is a super important function because as you can see here, if I just type in Akita, 
you get all of these Akita pools, some of them legit, some of them not legit. There are so many different copycat tokens out there that have the same name, so you want to make sure you're trading the token that matches the asset ID that it's appropriate for. In the bottom right hand corner of the app, there's a little function called wallet. Over there you can see all of the assets you have in your wallet and receive more assets. It's super simple, super intuitive. For some reason they do not have a send function out yet, but that's not really that big of a deal. You could just log into your My Algo on your desktop browser whenever you need to send it, send anything and just send it from there. Or if you use the mobile Algorand wallet app, you could send it from there as well. Um, they would all work together because it's the same wallet. So this wallet that I'm using is actually the same wallet I use for the Algorand app itself. Another button down near the bottom called Transactions will list all of the swaps that you do, which is really, really neat because it it really declutters a lot of the noise that you can see when you use the wallet uh, browser form. When you use the wallet browser, it'll also show you all of the smart contracts you've signed and sometimes the actual transactions can get uh, lost in the weeds. So I actually really like the way DeFly organizes the transactions. Let's do one more swap just so we can get a feel for it. All right, so let's swap Yieldly for Stable. Stable is the native stablecoin for the AlgoFi lending protocol. So let's find it. Let's type in Yieldly up here and find the pair. Yieldly, let's see. Yieldly Stable, perfect. I'm going to swap 100% of my Yieldly, which is 2,982 Yieldly, and I'm going to receive about 29 Stable. I'm going to hit Swap. Confirm the details and swipe to confirm. Just like before, it is signing and swapping. This should only take a handful of seconds. Perfect. The swap has been successful. I really, really like this app. There are a couple more features that I didn't dive into yet, like this analytics function right here and when you click on a pair you can click right here close to the top right and change the bar <clears throat> and change the line graph to the candle charts and I really like this because then you can also add a moving average I'm hoping they add more functionality in the future but I really like how simple and intuitive it is to make swaps to look at all of the data surrounding the the token that you want to swap, whether it be the liquidity or the market cap, the fully diluted market cap. I really like that it makes it all simple, super easy to use and track all in one place. I also really, really like that it keeps track of your transactions in a very simple and easy to organize and easy to digest manner. That being said, as of right now, it's in its most basic form because being a DEX aggregator of sorts, essentially being an order routing app, there is only one place currently to route orders to, which, are, which is TinyMan. So in my opinion, this app will become much, much, much more useful in the future as more, da <clears throat> as more DEXs like HumbleSwap and AlgoDEX and so forth launch and give this app the ability to route orders to any DEX it sees fit for the best price. I also think it's going to be a really great app for adoption. One reason for this, in fact the main reason for this, is because it's going to be downloadable through the Apple Play Store and the Google Play Stores. And that is an unbelievable achievement. There isn't a single dApp on the Algorand ecosystem that you can download through the app stores on your phone. Everybody enjoys using an app. It's partially the reason why Coinbase is the number one used platform for cryptocurrencies. It's because it's also the number one app in the Play Store for all things finance. So that being said, I really do believe that DeFly has a bright future ahead of it. Its current market cap is only about $8 million, so it's a super low cap coin. If it was being tracked by coin market cap, it would probably be somewhere along the lines of the 800 or 900th coin being tracked. So it's, it's a very low cap coin, which also means it's a high risk coin. But being a very low market cap coin also means there could be a lot of upside. Now, of course, none of this is financial advice, and to be fully transparent, I did get in on the pre-sale, so I do likely have some sort of bias here. 
But that being said, I got in on the pre-sale because I thought that it had as much potential as I'm describing now. And now that I was able to use the app and see how simple it is, see how quick it is to make trades and order route your orders for the best price, I can see that this app really could increase adoption for all sorts of Algorand ASAs. Just imagine anybody just sitting on their couch being able to have full access to any ASA they want to trade and being able to route those orders for the best price across various decentralized exchanges. I'm really excited for this app. The Algorand Foundation and Algorand Inc. seems really excited for this app. AlgoFi on a recent AMA on a Twitter space had great things to say about DeFi and also said they're working to integrate their future decks with DeFi. So it seems like the community all around has a lot of hope in this project. And not just hope, because the app is in public beta right now. So a lot of us are seeing firsthand its potential. I can't wait for the app to be fully public in April so everyone else can see what we are all seeing. On that note, if you liked the content, please smash the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to do a lot more videos like this doing deep dives on projects in the future, but I also have plenty of upcoming interviews with CEOs, developers, and coders in the Algorand ecosystem, so you're not going to want to miss any of those. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, and we will catch you in the next one.